The James Webb Space Telescope has captured images of ancient galaxies that are far larger and brighter than expected, challenging our traditional view of dark matter. This surprising find has reignited interest in an alternative theory called Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND, which offers a new perspective on gravity's role in shaping galaxies. In this video, we'll break down Webb's findings, compare it with the MOND theory, and discuss the broader implications for cosmology. So without further ado, let's get started. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured a surprising view of the early universe. Instead of finding small, faint galaxies as expected, Webb is seeing massive and incredibly bright galaxies from this period. These galaxies appear to have formed quickly and on a much larger scale than the standard dark matter model predicts. According to the cold dark matter model, dark matter, a mysterious and invisible substance, helps galaxies grow by exerting a gravitational pull on gas and dust. Over billions of years, this gravitational influence enables galaxies to form slowly through merging and gathering material. This model has been essential in cosmology, helping explain the shapes and sizes of galaxies we observe today. However, Webb's findings challenge this understanding. The massive, luminous galaxies that Webb is capturing seem to have skipped the gradual growth process that dark matter models predict. Instead, they appear fully developed much earlier in the universe's timeline. If these galaxies reached such impressive size and brightness so quickly, it suggests that something in our understanding of galaxy formation is missing. Either the dark matter model is incomplete, or an alternative explanation, like MOND, might offer a better account for these observations. Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND, offers an intriguing alternative to the dark matter explanation. This theory suggests that gravity might not always follow Newton's laws, especially under extremely low acceleration conditions, like those at the edges of galaxies. While Newtonian gravity has been a foundation in physics, explaining everything from falling objects to planetary orbits, Mann proposes that in areas of very weak gravitational pull, gravity behaves differently. This theory was initially developed to address what's known as the galaxy rotation curve problem. Observations showed that stars on the outskirts of galaxies move much faster than they should, based on the visible matter alone. The traditional solution was to introduce dark matter as an invisible halo surrounding galaxies, adding the extra gravitational pull needed to explain these high speeds. However, Mann suggests a different approach. Instead of adding unseen matter, it proposes that the laws of gravity themselves change in these weak field conditions, providing the extra force needed to keep stars moving at higher speeds. This theory is particularly relevant to Webb's findings about the early universe. If gravity behaves differently at the edges of galaxies, it could mean that galaxies form and grow faster than traditional models predict. This might explain why Webb is observing massive, fully developed galaxies from the universe's early days, where dark matter models would expect smaller, gradually growing structures. However, it's important to note that MON has its challenges, Critics argue that while it works well for individual galaxies, it doesn't explain the behavior of larger structures, like galaxy clusters, as effectively. Additionally, this theory struggles to fit into a single framework that can explain all cosmic phenomena as comprehensively as the dark matter model. Despite this, Webb's recent discoveries have led some astronomers to take a second look at MOND especially since its predictions align closely with these new observations of rapid galaxy growth. Although it's still debated whether MON could fully replace the dark matter model, its success in predicting certain phenomena, like galaxy rotation curves, keeps it a relevant and compelling alternative in cosmology. The implications of these discoveries are profound, as they challenge one of the foundational pillars of cosmology, the dark matter paradigm. 
Since dark matter was first proposed, it has been the go-to explanation for phenomena we couldn't account for with visible matter alone. Dark matter has become a key part of the standard cosmological model, explaining not only galaxy formation, but also the behavior of galaxy clusters and the large-scale structure of the universe. However, if early galaxies can grow quickly without dark matter, it might mean that dark matter isn't the universal solution we once thought. This leads us to another related theory. Tensor Vector Scalar Gravity, or TVs, developed by physicist Jacob Bekenstein in 2004. TVs was designed to build on MOND while addressing its limitations. It introduces additional fields, tensor, vector, and scalar, to describe gravitational interactions in a way that aligns more closely with Einstein's general relativity. In essence, TVS aims to bridge the gap between MOND and our broader understanding of gravity, providing a framework that could explain galactic behavior without relying on dark matter. This theory offers a unique solution, especially in light of the Webb's findings, as it proposes that gravitational behavior may vary under different conditions. So, how does TV supply to Webb's discovery? The theory suggests that the gravity governing these massive early galaxies could have operated differently, allowing them to grow more quickly than what traditional dark matter models predict. If TVs can explain galaxy formation in this context, it could serve as a powerful alternative to dark matter. The appeal of TVs lies in its attempt to provide a more comprehensive theory that accounts for Mun's predictions while fitting into a relativistic framework, making it an exciting possibility for explaining these puzzling web observations. These discoveries also point to the need for more research and observations. Telescopes and observatories, like the Rubin Observatory, are set to come online soon and will help us gather more data on galaxy formation and behavior across the universe. Additionally, Webb will continue to observe distant galaxies, providing further insights into whether these rapid growth structures are more common than previously thought. By studying these galaxies, scientists will be able to test MOND, TVES, and the dark matter model more rigorously, helping us refine our understanding of the universe. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the James Webb Space Telescope's incredible discoveries and how they're challenging our understanding of the universe. If you're as fascinated as we are by these new insights, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more cosmic explorations. Feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. Until next time, keep looking up, and we'll see you in the next video.